Ladies and gentlemen, they're saying the opioid epidemic has gotten far worse than what it used to be even a few years ago. And let me tell you why I believe it got worse, because they have chose to coddle these people. They want the public also to coddle them too. Remember, oh, it's not a crime, it's a public health issue. Well, that's really amazing. During the crack epidemic, it was a crime. And anybody that got caught went to criminal court. Well, they made a special drug court for these folks where they could bypass any incarceration by just going to drug rehab, drug court. So since you decided to coddle these people instead of taking a stern hand with them, now you got a situation that got worse. So obviously coddling don't work. And if y'all remember, I did stories on it where they wanted the public to carry Narcan to help these people, but they didn't lift one finger during the crack epidemic to help. In fact, I remember many of them sitting around saying that these people deserve to be in jail because they were on crack. But I noticed the tone is totally, totally different when the face of the drug user changed. So let's get into this story. The opioid crisis has gotten much, much worse despite Congress effort to stop it. They didn't really do much of anything to stop it. You know, Joe Biden's administration don't even talk much about drug addiction and look at Hunter. Okay. It, it, they don't talk about it barely at all. And Trump, he put together a commission, but the people on his commission, which one of them was Chris Christie, complained that he didn't provide funding and he did not take any of their recommendations, which means that Trump only put it together for show because he didn't do anything. And I really don't think they want to pour too much money into a drug addiction here in America. And that's another reason why it has gotten much worse. So let's get into this story. America's drug overdose crisis is out of control. Washington, despite a bipartisan desire to combat it, is finding the addiction fighting programs are failing. That's because you're coddling them. In 2018, Republicans, Democrats, and then President Donald Trump united around legislation that threw $20 billion into treatment, prevention, and recovery. But five years later, the Support Act that lapsed and the number of Americans dying from overdoses has grown more than 60%. Wow, that is very significant. Driven by illicit fentanyl, the battle has turned into a slog. Even though 105,000 Americans died last year, remember, they always lowball the numbers. So just take that with a grain of salt. Congress is showing little urgency about re-upping the law since it expired on September 30th. That's not because of partisan division, but a realization that there is no quick fixes. A new law could bring to bear. Now, remember when the crack epidemic came about, they didn't pass any laws. What they did was build more jails to throw the crack addicts into. That's what they did. There were no legislation and laws and rehab options and all of that. That didn't exist. The only thing for a crack addict was jail. 
we are in the middle of a crisis of proportion we couldn't have imagined even five years ago when the original Support Act was passed, said Libby Jones, a program director of the Overdose Prevention Initiative at the Global Health Advocacy Incubator. If they can't pass this, it's really sad. Congress is not coming to the rescue. The House is without a speaker after Republicans fired Rep. Kevin McCarthy earlier this month. The GOP has made no progress in replacing him. That brought legislation to a standstill. Ask why the Senate committee with the responsibility for the law hasn't even begun to consider it. Y'all, you know, think about what it says in prophecy about the last days and all of the divisions. Y'all notice the divisions are getting greater and greater among these politicians. I mean, look at the Republican Party. It's almost like they're falling apart. And then we saw all of the stuff going on with Mitch McConnell. Now they're squabbling over a House speaker and things are just not getting done. And you saw the big fight over the government shutdown that they had just about two, three weeks ago. So it, it's a big mess. Everything is in disarray. Oh, boy. So they were asking why the Senate committee with the responsibility for the law hasn't even begun to consider it. Chair Bernie Sanders said other priorities had presidents. Um, and he said, we're working on a myriad of problems, he said, after listing his efforts to shore up the primary care system and lower drug prices. Sanders' attitude reflects the course of the fight against fentanyl. And, you know, the, synth the synthetic opioid that accounts for most of the deaths in the U.S., Fentanyl is very addictive and it's affordable. And the broader trends, sorry about that, y'all. <laughs> and the broader trends driving people to use drugs are overwhelming. Yeah, and they're having a terrible time with fentanyl coming across the border. That is a huge, huge issue. And, well, they never really could get that under control, to be honest with you. Congress can continue to fund opioid fighting efforts without passing a new version of the Support Act. But failing to pass another law forfeits the opportunity to try new approaches that have advocates discouraged. You know, being that they're not prioritizing it, y'all, I'm sure it's going to be thrown on the back burner. Despite its dysfunction, the House is further along legislatively than the Democratic-controlled Senate. The House of Energy and Commerce Committee unanimously approved a new Support Act in July, but the measures limited Ambition suggests a reason for a lack of urgency to pass it. In the Senate, the ranking Republican on Health, Education, Labor, and Pension Committee, Bill Cassidy of Louisiana, has proposed a bill, but no Democrat has. So missing the deadline to re-up the Support Act puts vital resources in jeopardy. President Joe Biden is frustrated as well, even as he has not openly pressured lawmakers to pass the bill. No, because he's too busy giving all of our money away 
to everybody. So I'm not surprised if certain things are not getting funding because he's just giving it all away. You got to be foreign and you got to have a war going on to get his attention. Otherwise, he's not going to pay attention to anything at this point. So I'm not surprised that it's not being prioritized, y'all. It's not being lobbied. And they know it's going out of control and they're just sitting watching it and not doing nothing about it. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all, you're going to have to tell me what you think about this one, but I'm not surprised by the lack of attention it's getting. It's just like everything else is being ignored, just like reparations is being ignored in a crime bill for the Black community. It's all being ignored. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace family.